The Backrooms. Starting as a 4chan post, it has blossomed into one of the most popular online pop culture stories ever, having books, a soon-to-be film, and many channels based around the thing. The Backrooms are a seemingly endless maze of alternate universes, close to ours but off in horrific ways, not only driving one to insanity, but also being home to countless entities that will rip you to shreds in a heartbeat. And The Man in the Suit, hands down the most popular Godzilla YouTube creepypasta, competing with Godzilla NES as the true king of Godzilla horror. The man in the suit is a man turned real life monster, with skin that can take grenade explosions like it's nothing, radar to detect things around him, and spoilers, but regeneration on par with Godzilla minus one. Now the last man in the suit video did really well. So today, why not mix my two most popular type of videos, the man in the suit and verse swaps. Today we will ask, could the man in the suit survive the backrooms? Now a few things we need to address. This would be more of a fight rather than the question of if the man in the suit could find his way out, which he should be able to do as the man in the suit has radar and regeneration, meaning he would just keep going until eventually he'd get out. Now, I did a lot of research, but there really isn't much grounded info on the entities that lie on each level. So we'll be using the spaghetti monster from Kane Pixel's Backrooms video for level zero, and then level one through five, I'm using the Backrooms Explained. And I'll try to explain each monster when we get to it. So let's look at this new and weird bracket of monsters. The Kane Pixels monster, the Duller, the Hounds, Skin Stealers, Scratchers, Wretches, Window Monsters, Death Moth, and finally, the Growler. So, with that being said, let's see how the man in the suit holds up against the relentless power of the backrooms. Level Zero. Level Zero is by far the most well-known level there is. The damp carpets, yellow walls, and buzzing fluorescent lights that are always humming. Off the bat, the man in the suit would just be confused. Running after the moth of suit actor's parents, he seemingly fell through the ground. After walking for a long, long time, he finally senses something running towards his location, fast. While he's faster, this thing is pretty close. After turning a corner, there it is. Standing at about 8 to 9 feet, there's a dark, tall entity. Now to be honest, while this thing is cool, it's nothing to the man in the suit. He could make it somewhat hard for himself and try to grab his head and pull an Omni-Man. To be honest, he really only has to spit his acid breath, which is strong enough to dissolve things from flesh all the way to steel. Another reason why he'd beat string Strap, by the way. So, with no difficulty, the man in the suit passes on. Again, no clipping through the ground until level 1. Just like how you should know, clip to that subscribe button. I like all nerdy things, so if you guys want to see more backrooms oriented videos, you subscribing shows me that. And also comment what you want to see, of course. Level 1. Next up is level 1, where the man in the suit will be facing off against three monsters. First one being the Duller. The Dullers hide as simple, innocent little puddles. While the man in the suit won't grow thirsty, he will at some point walk past one when the Duller attacks. Now, the interesting thing about them is that they won't let go. So even if the man in the suit pulls away, the Duller will still hold on. But then again, it can end quickly with some acid. While they won't let go, they aren't too durable. The man in the suit again walks away with no difficulty. Now, after continuing, the man in the suit will again send something near him, hearing a low growling sound. Coming face to face with the growling beast. Is that a human? No, it's a hound. These quadrupedal human-like beasts are equally terrifying as they are ugly. Now the Hound is the first thing that can keep up and most likely surpass the Man in the Suit in speed. But everything else, the Man in the Suit prevails. Again, simple acid should do the trick. Especially since in the backroom's lore, these things can die to machetes. So again, with like no to low difficulty, the Man in the Suit moves on. And now the final battle of level 1, the Skin Stealer. Now the Skin Stealer will be the first real threat. That being thanks to their speed and insane strength. Now hand to hand, they would pose a decent threat to the Man in the Suit. But again, like each past level, some simple assets should do the job. So, with many dissolved monsters around him, the Man in the Suit passes level 1. Level 2. In level 2, the Man in the Suit will be facing off against one monster, that being the Scratcher. Now let me try to explain the Scratcher real quick, as so far it's just been, the Man in the Suit wins next. So the Scratchers are these seemingly tall humanoid grey or black entities. They're skinny, with very long claws, that, as you guessed, scratched. They are blind, but they do have really good hearing allowing them to find their target's location via echolocation, or something like echolocation. They have sharp teeth, which allow them to bite deep into their target. Now, the Scratcher is one of the few things that can most likely react and dodge the Man in the Suit's acid. But again, the Man in the Suit outdoes the Scratcher in strength and durability. So, with just a sheer strength, the Man in the Suit passes again. Now, on to level 3. Level 3. This level is by far one of the most scariest. Millions of miles of dark, damp hallways of a factory, with many entities lurking, watching your every move. 
On this level, the man in the suit will fight against the Wretchers. The Wretchers are sick abominations that were once humans, but now are just a big pile of flesh and blood. If anything, the man in the suit will be confused to see this thing. As under his own suit, he looks the same. Though, with that being said, the man in the suit hates other people. And given the Wretchers weak as paper, and can be beat by a normal person, the man in the suit obliterates. Again, moving on, on to level 4. Level 4. Yeah, this one's pretty simple. It's a window monster, stay away from it in, in Indie Pass. Yeah. I'll, I'll explain real quick though. They're window monsters, you know, if you go to them, they'll like try and grab you and pull you in. And, but I mean, they can be overpowered by humans again, so the man in the suit with no difficulty moves on. And finally, level 5. And also, thank God, we actually have two stronger entities. Starting with the Death Moth. Now this will be a challenge for the man in the suit, as the Death Moth, as the name implies, can fly like a moth. And, like the man in the suit, the Death Moth can shoot acid as well. So while the Death Moth would be the first acid damage man in the suit, burning away and dissolving part of his skin, he would just regenerate it and eventually hit her with his own. So, with mid-difficulty, he beats the Death Moth. And now onto the final entity, the Growler. The Growler is very strong, being able to easily rip through people, and it's pretty fast, most likely on par with the man in the suit. Now while the Growler's strength is superior to the man in the suit, there is one issue that makes this fight a low difficulty matchup for the man in the suit. The Growlers are painfully stupid. So while the man in the suit is not as strong, if he just moves out of the way and pulls a trick on the Growler, he'd win. So with low difficulty, the Growler goes down. What do you guys think? I know this is a shorter video, it's just that level 0 to level 5 entities are pretty weak, but if you guys like this video, I'd be happy to make a part 2 where he goes even deeper, to truly see how far he gets, as some of the later monsters do get pretty powerful. I also want to thank Kaijo for all the help on this video. And again, credit to Kane Pixels, Backrooms Explained, and Unknowingly. Again, if you want to see more content like this, then make sure to check out the channel. But as always, everybody, keep collecting. Guys, little guy, out. See ya.